Good afternoon, everybody. It's Lindy Tate from Taterbug in. I've got some unboxing for you today. Some beautiful things that I haven't, I've looked in, but I haven't opened up. We're gonna do that together. And then I have some other things that I found at Southern Vintage Company yesterday. It had been a while since I've been there. I used to have a booth there. It's my home away from home. Um, and it was just so good to go back over there and spend time walking through the store. And so I'm going to show you a couple of things that I found. Um, if you're watching on replay, please say hello. Let us know you were here. And if you're new, uh, let us know you're new so we can welcome you. Oh, goodness. Everybody's getting here already. Hey, Sandy and Cindy and Debbie and Becky and Sarah. Cindy, I hope you got my email. If you didn't, it's all right perfectly fine. I, I can, I can figure it out. Hello, Kathy. I just uh, hope you're having, you're doing okay, Cindy. You've been on my heart. Hello, Teresa. How's everybody doing on this Thursday? Y'all having a good day? There's Deb and Rob, Robin. I love your papers. Was it fun? Okay, good, Cindy. Hey, Linda, from stormy North Texas. Y'all, te you don't need any more storms in Texas. My goodness, I don't think we need any more either. Uh, it is, Jenny. It sure is. I would invite all of you to follow their Facebook page, uh, Southern Vintage Company. Um, they are here in Bartlett. They're five minutes down the road from me. And like I said, I used to have a booth there. It's a big store now. Uh, well, it was even when I left there. Um, it's uh, in a strip mall, but I think she's got four bays now. So it's huge. And um, they do a live sale every Thursday night online. Uh, so it'll be tonight at 7 Central. Um, those are so fun. And so you, if you see something you want, they'll ship. They invoice you. And they'll ship it to you. Uh, they also post pictures from around. Thank you. Thank you. So my goodness. Cindy is the best. <laughs> there it is right there. You can follow their page. Hey, Yolanda. Oh, Kathy, I'm so glad you're having a beautiful day, too. Hello, Carol. We had coffee on the porch again this morning. It was just perfection. My little mama walked over in her gown and robe with her little cup of coffee, and we visited. So, really awesome. Uh, but what I was saying is Southern Vintage Company will also post pictures from around their store every night. And if you see something that you want or you need a price on, you can ask them and they'll do that. And, and they do ship well. I've, Cindy, and Cindy, when she was here in town, we went over there together and went through the whole store. Uh, I'll show you. I got one piece online that they had posted the other day. And then when I went to pick it up yesterday, of course, I had to walk around. Anyway, we're going to get going, I'm, and I'm hoping to do a little creating with what's in this box. This box is from Taperlogy. They are awesome. Y'all know I use a lot of Taperlogy products. Hello, Becky. You've ordered from them, too. Hey, Lisa. Uh, Lisa was just on. She just got off 15 minutes ago. But they sent me this happy mail, and so we're going to do an unboxing. Thank you, Jenny. Hi, Lori, you're here. You put salmon in the oven. Is Shiraz gonna come over today? I know this, you don't have the storms. I wanna say this about Taper Lodgy. You've probably seen me unbox from them before. Hey, Kathy. Um, <laughs> some of them had trouble with the clowns. Howdy, Penny. Uh, he's not, okay, maybe tomorrow. Their packaging is impeccable. I love their packaging. Um, and I love, I don't know why, but from the very first one I ever got, I just think this is the cutest little sticker. I'm finally home. Isn't that sweet? So we're just going to open it up. Look at this loveliness. I'm telling you, every item is packed to perfection. That's one thing I do love. I think us women really appreciate packaging. Um, it makes a difference. Is it just Taper Lodgy online? And they are so awesome. They have provided a link for y'all 
um, to the things that I'm going to show today or the things that they have sent me in the past and the things that I use. So um, that's what I was asking Cindy if she had. They have made up Tater Buggins Treasure Trove to make it easy on you guys to just click. If you see anything in here you want, it's going to be right there. You can get it. There it is right there. Cindy already dropped it. They include a sweet little um, thank you card. You get 10% um, off of your next order. So that's the first thing. So where to, where to begin? Look at this. Look at this beautiful packaging. I love it. And listen, I save the things that, that they package with. I really do. And I use those too. How do you do this? How'd they do this? I said I saved it and then, is it a snap? Is it a, I don't wanna mess it up. It's a, look how cute that is. What do you call, I must have these. <laughs> what do y'all call that little piece? It's like one side of a snap. So it went through, oh my goodness, and it's a little leather strap. Ah! Honey sriracha, yum. So anyway, that was pretty. Look at these. Now I'm getting to see these for the first time with y'all. Ooh, that's soft. Look at these ribbons. How pretty is that? Got the, just a tiny bit of stretch to them. Is that what they're called? A stud? <laughs> I thought that's what Cheryl was. <laughs> hey, Sylvia. Are you all tucked in cozy? I hope so. Hi, Tova. Look at this. Ooh, look at that color. Dina's going to be jealous of that one. I might need to share with her. And the blue and the lavender. Now listen, once you use these up, these are really heavy. You can use the, um, uh, what am I trying to say? The little base, the little faux spool. What is this called? Who's <laughs> stud? You can use those in your crafting. I do. Pink. Goodness, let's so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven in this package. So you'll get eleven. Hi, Debbie. We've got black, we've got white, we've got these are okay, wait, wait, wait. These are a little different. Let me show you the difference. There's my bow. Okay, there's that one in cream. Oops. And here's this one in cream. Look, this that's really pretty. That's got like a check pattern just slightly in it. Good afternoon, Peggy. Yes, Mr. T's a stud, isn't he? <laughs> He'd get me for saying that. These colors are beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. We might use, we're gonna use some of this today. Cindy, I bet you could, I bet you could. I'm thinking even with these little holes at the top, a, a, um, one of those ring binders and decorate each one of them up. I think you could do all kinds of things with these cute things. I don't throw them away. You don't waste stuff like that. So there's our first goodie package and see they just had it in this sweet bag and they had they this is so cool we just did this over here over the top you put this little study thing that Lisa said it was a stud put that right there and that right through there I love that it doesn't take much to make me happy y'all hey Stephanie I think it's really nice. Those colors are beautiful. What's next? Vine ribbon. Get out of here. And I love how they'll take a little piece of it and use it for packaging. I use that piece too. <laughs> hey Priscilla, I'm so happy you're here. Did y'all see Priscilla's sandals that she got from the painted porch? They're so nice. <laughs> hey, Carrie. Just a stutter, too. Look at all the different colors. 
of little vine ribbons. I've always loved these. How pretty. They have little leaves on them. Ooh, we gotta come up with something fun to do with those. Purple. Ooh, there's gold leaves on that one. How cute. Silver leaves on this one. We're gonna have fun. When Connor was little, Randy scanned him with the stud finder and taught him to say, my name's Connor, I'm a stud. <laughs> That's so cute. What are these? Peggy, I'm doing, a, hey Ashley, I am doing an unboxing from Taper Lodgy. I just got it last night. And then we're gonna do a little creating with them. These are little vine ribbons. So you've got braided ribbon with these sweet little silk leaves on them. And all the, there's a jute one with brown leaves. These are really pretty, really, oh, look how sweet that pink is. I love that. We're gonna have to find a really cute way to use these, these little uh, ribbons. That's fun. Oh, you know, it would be fun to use this, um, to have, uh, you know, your signatures in your junk journal that you can keep adding to. That would be pretty. It was broken. <laughs> What was my unboxing? We're unboxing right now. This is it. So far, we've uh, we've got this uh, beautiful cloth ribbon. We've got the vine ribbon. This is all from Taper Lodgy that they sent me. Next up, butterflies. Once again, they've used a brad closure on this and a beautiful piece of ribbon. Let's see these butterflies. Yes, it's from Taper Lodgy. I think so too, Catherine. We used to use something similar, but not, not quite the same. We had a little fairy swing that goes on a um, three-tiered or a tiered tray, and Mr. T would cut the little swing, and we would put the little um, vine on it. Oh, goodness, these are so pretty. <gasps> they have bling on them. Look. Can y'all see that? Let me... Hold it like that. Maybe you can see it better. Then it will focus. Um, you know, I don't know if they're run out of a home or not. Um, I have worked with Taper Lodgy, I'm going to say at least two years now, I believe. They are amazing to work with. Uh, I work with a lady named Florence usually. I've worked with another one as well. Uh, but Florence is the one who did this one for me, and um, I can't say enough great things about them. I know y'all have ordered from, or a lot of my followers have ordered from them and really love them. Look at that. Ooh, look at the, that, how does it do that? That looks like it's holographic. Ooh-wee. Oh, my goodness, look how pretty this one is. <laughs> oh, she's so elegant. She's got the little rhinestone bling. Hey, Katie. But that's not all. We've got ones that are embroidered. I love using little embellishments like this. Ooh. Because <gasps> I'm, I'm just now looking at all of this with y'all. Look how pretty. Katie, I am unboxing from Taper Lodgy. I just got it last night. I have not opened it. I'm opening it with y'all. These are all from Taper Lodgy. All this beautiful ephemera ribbons, and we're gonna have so much fun. I have a whole box. Of course, I, I use Taper Lodgy a lot. Taper is where I got my little mini calendars, too. Um, but I have a little container that's just marked Taper Lodgy, and I use ephemera out of that all the time. Those rub-on transfers you see me use on paper, paper lodgy. I'm going to show you some. Look how pretty that is. Woo. I like that. Katie, they're, they fixed it up where they've got all of these items in what they call Tater Buggins Treasure Trove. And so there's a link that will take you right to these items. 
if, if there's something you see that you want, um, you can go right to it. But boy, these, these are very, they're like um, nylon, you know? Ugh. You could get lost over there. Although I'm gonna say this, um, it's small enough that, you know, you don't, you're not going, it's not like going to Timu where it just is endless. Um, they have a smaller, it's uh, still not small, but they're really quality items. And like I said, the packaging, every time it comes in a box like this with that sweet sticker, and every item is beautifully packed in the, the box. So it's really, it's really nice. And I wouldn't tell y'all that if I didn't mean it. So these little butterflies are going to be so fun to work with. Oh my goodness. All right, butterflies over here because we want to have time to play. But I got to say, I've been, I didn't, I thought I'm not going to open these until I'm with y'all. They're so pretty, Deb. If you're a butterfly lover, I think you're going to really like these. Um, okay, what's in here? Let's see. Because, see, now this is, they just offered to send me some of their new things. And, of course, I said, uh, oh, no, I don't want it. <laughs> I said, sure, I'll be happy to use it. This is called About Travel. Oh, that's pretty. Even though I don't travel much, you know, I'll be using the, oh, these are those really nice, really nice stickers. Look at that camera. Backpack. Let me just show y'all some of these. Look at the suitcase. That's pretty. These are really nice. <laughs> right, Lori? Hello, Angela. Hi, Nora. Oh, y'all know I love suitcases. It's about time to paint another suitcase, isn't it? Oh, I might have to give this to Moidal. It reminds me of her daddy. Isn't the travel one pretty? Look. Oh, you know, for a steampunk project, how cool are those? For your pilot. Yes, Carrie. Oh, yes. And the journals. Betcha those get used. Don't you love journals like that, too? Leather bound. Oh, more cameras. These are really nice. Oh, there's a smaller one of that. Look at this bicycle. Ah! A compass. I gotta show y'all. Look at these. That's very steampunkish, right? Hey, Francis, how are you? We're unboxing a Taper Lodgy package. These are really nice. That's another one of the backpacks. Oh, look at this little vignette. I have always loved to use old um, travel cases and suitcases and decor. And um, this reminds me of one I had set up one time on, a, on my table in the den. Oh, look at this old car. <gasps> Let me show you this car. Let me show you what I just saw. Oh! A tater bus. One day, I hope, if I could just have a tater bus one day, I think it would be the coolest thing ever. And I would hang floral curtains in there and decoupage flowers on stuff. I couldn't drive it, but it would be fun to redo. Hey, Anne. I'm unboxing a Taperology package. Oh, Sharon, I, well, I can highly recommend Taperology. I really can. Like I said, I've been working with them a long time, and I've been using their products for a long time, and I can't, I can't say enough about, hey, Jimmy Lou, how are you doing, my sweet friend? I'm unboxing from Taperology. Do you ever order from Taperology? I've been working with them for quite some time now. Is that? Is that where you go buy your tickets? I guess that's really cool. 
Oh, I wish I could. I wish I could get a tater bus. I, I have visions. That's a dream. That's a big dream. That's a journal, travel journal, so pretty. That would be fun, Lori. But I thought, how cool would it be to have one that you could actually, like when I go to Kentucky in July, I could roll up in the tater bus. <laughs> That'd be really cool. I can't drive a stick though, I shouldn't tell y'all that, but I never learned to drive a stick. I don't know if you can teach old dogs new tricks. These are not the rub-on stickers. These are actual, do they call them? I don't, these are nice. I don't know what you'd call these kind of stickers, but I call them beautiful. And if you go look on the, um, to the link, this, uh, this is about travel, and it'll tell you all about them there. I think that would be so fun too, Jimmy Lou. And then this one is about spring. Let's see, oh, that's up my alley. Let's see what this is all about. They're after something out there. Okay, oh, these are so sweet. Look how pretty. You think so, Sharon? I don't know. I would sure try if I could have a tater bus. We gotta make some money before I go <laughs> trying to get a tater bus. He's doing better, but um, it's a weird thing with his back. Like this morning, he got up, he was fine. And what did he say he did? He reached over for something. I mean, he wasn't picking up something heavy. Maybe one of the dog's bowls to feed them. And that electricity shot through him. He said it almost brought him to his knees. So, it's not hurting all the time. But, boy, when it zings him, it really does. I think that's so sweet with that lavender on it. Are these washi stickers, Jane? Maybe that's it. They're very... Is that what they are? Well, they're lovely. <laughs> I absolutely love them. They're beautiful. Oh, Lisa, these might work really well in conjunction with the next bundle, huh? Lisa has, she, I'm lucky, y'all. I'm very blessed. Um, I had an idea in mind. We're going to be in a really special event, small event, with our friend Jimmy Lou. And it's coming up in June. Look at that stamp. Oh, that's so pretty. And I'm not going to give anything away. They all, they do look like vellum, but there is a little, um, it's a nice texture. It's not just that, like the back is the, that clear, you know, I don't know, my words escape me. But then this has a little texture. It, they feel really nice. Um, but anyway, it's a, it's going to be our next bundle. Ooh. These are soft colors. And I think these are going to, anyway, Lisa, I woke up, like I said, you know, Lisa stays awake. And I, the description says vellum. There you go. Hey, Carol. Um, they're, they're very good quality, I can tell. But I, I told her, I said, she had shown me a few papers. Because she'll do a few papers and then text them to me and say, you know, what are your thoughts? You know, pretty that day. Da uh, daisies are my favorite, you know. And, um, I just had a fit seeing those first ones. Oh my word, these shutters and when I love windows and doors. Look how pretty that is. I do love that tiny envelope. I do. So, you know, I'll go to bed at night, and she can't sleep well, and I wake up in the morning, and she's like, here's a bundle. <laughs> it's like Christmas every day, and this one came this morning, and I thought, that's for that project. That's it. I love it. I think y'all are going to love it. Um, 
but I can't wait till we, it's not quite, there's a lot involved. Not only does she have to design it and make it into all the low of the many pages she does, but then, you know, she's the one who makes the, the graphics for it. She usually names them. Um, the videos, I'm just the, the dude that gets it loaded in there. Make sure y'all get it. <laughs> That's it. Hi, Carol. Look at this whole bouquet of Shasta daisies. I love them. It's coming soon, Stephanie. It's not in the shop yet, but it's coming soon, and it is lovely. Look at these stamps. I just, oh, I'm crazy about those. Ooh, yeah, she's Wonder Woman. Well, I try to. I really do try to, you know, then then my job is to, you know, make make some things. Just to give you all some idea. We both do that. Ideas of how to use them. These are all beautiful bouquets of daisies and oh that's so pretty and look at that these are really lovely and look how sweet that is that sweet little pink daisy oh, i love these no carol these are from taper lodgy taper lodgy sent me all these goodies and i'm opening them and seeing them for the first time with you yeah um <laughs> lisa in her live she was live right before me in craft on the clock she was talking about the hidden paper clips, and um, I, I think I'm going to teach her how to make a mini envelope next. Everybody said, you better eat a good meal before it, Lisa. <laughs> it was funny. If y'all missed that live that Lisa and I did um, Monday, I think it was. Was it Monday, y'all? Uh, Ashley, Taperlogy is... How do I describe their, their, they have wonderful, you're going to get emails, you're going to get tracking, you'll know when it's been delivered. Um, I would say, it's not going to be like Amazon, maybe about like Timu or a little less. That was such a fun live. I laughed so hard, Sharon. You just showed her again how to do the clips well. Good on you, Jimmy Lou, because she didn't want to hear it from me. Let's see what we got here. Look at this pretty package. You just get a little sneaky peek. This is like a Ziploc package. They're all so nice. Thank you, Sharon. Hello, Esther. You just finished supper? Oh, you're going to do it <laughs> privately. <laughs> It is hard to do something new live in front of everybody. It really, really is. But I'm maybe doing something today here. Oh my goodness, look at all my twine. Oh, hush. Oh my goodness, look how pretty these are. I love working with twine. Yes, those the last ones I showed were stickers, vellum stickers. And uh, they were kind enough to give y'all a link to specifically these products so you don't have to go poking around looking for these products. If you want to get some, it's called Lindy's Treasure Trove. Look at the Christmas ones. <gasps> I'll be using these at Dina's event. Christmas in July? I will. Oh, that's wonderful. These look kind of fallish or Halloween, but they don't have to be. All these colors, look how many. Y'all, I'm telling you, this will last you. You know, I do this every single day. And like I said, I've been, uh, I've still got a ton of Taperlogy things and I use it all the time. Hey, Mary. Um, and so these are gonna last you for a long, long time, I promise. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, with six on it. So it's 30 twines, 30 twine. Y'all, okay, now I can't wait to look at these. I love, love, love their rub on transfers. Is it, Ann? Yeah, I, I thought Ann ordered from them a good bit. Um, it's quality, and Ann, do you agree that their packaging is just impeccable? Y'all know I have a lot of their rub-on transfers. This is a new, th these are new things in their shop. 
um, that I'm getting to try out to show y'all. Oh, I can't wait to see these. I use these rub-on transfers a lot and I still have a lot of them. And I don't want to deal it. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at the flowers. It's called Vintage Floral Collection. We'll probably be using some of these today too. If I don't just take up too much of your time. I'll tell you too. There, um, I think this is like a, a muslin type material, but I mean, it's so nice. It, well, I, you know, I don't tell y'all anything is really good until I know it is. And I'm very confident sharing Taperology products with you because they are so good. I don't think you'll be disappointed. So these are so beautifully packaged. And you've probably seen me do this before, but you take this beautiful fabric. Let's do one. Let's do one. It sits right here. And I'm going to do, let's look here. So I showed you that one. Oh, these are all, these, these look, well, obviously it's vintage. So look at these beautiful vintage flowers. Oh my goodness. How does one choose? I will, um, when I'm working on a project, I'll think about, you know, okay, what color do I need? I go right to my uh, Taperlogy rub-ons and pull one out. We're going to make one here. Uh, oh, goodness. This is going to be a hard decision. So you get uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five, five, six sheets in each one of these packages. Okay, let me show you these. I'm excited. I didn't, uh, okay, Becky, I hope to be there. I hope to be there. Becky is live on Becky's Whimsy, I believe in 45 minutes, I think. Is that right, Becky? Y'all look at this. I'm dying. Look at the stamps. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, I love these. Um, make a decision. Let's just do a quick one right here. <laughs> We're going to cut out this flower right here. And then we're going to put it on this fabric right here. Give you the little popsicle stick, you know, to burnish it onto the fabric. I like to make sure these adhere so well, but I do like to make sure they're um, good and stuck down. That's how easy those are. Now, look how beautiful that is and how easy that is. And you stick that on to whatever, you know, put this in a journal, tuck it in a tuck spot. You could um, hang it from a, a bulb pin as a little dangly. I think there's so much, you got me started on rub, rub on used on muslin. Oh, and they're beautiful, aren't they, Jane? Thank you for saying that. You know, these just, I don't know, it just adds a little something with that muslin. Um, I think these are so pretty. It's that easy. And they sell this beautiful um, fabric with the uh, in their shop. And you can order the rub-on transfers with or without the, the cloth. And I love this fabric. Okay, there's Taperlogy. Are y'all as excited about it as I am? I love it. All right, let me just kind of 
make myself some space because I want to show you what I got at Southern Vintage yesterday and then we're going to create a little bit. I just need to be off before Becky goes live. I don't want to, I don't want to step on my sweet friend's toes. So, I saw this in one of the pictures uh, that Southern Vintage posted, I think one night this week. I was going back and catching up and I saw this and I thought, do you need it? Mm -mm. But do you love it? Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. They sent you some of the fabric and transfers. Wait, let me get over here. As a thank you for your order, they do usually put a little happy in there extra. I think that's awesome business sense, you know. I didn't know what to do with it, though. Could I stick muslin on my... Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I believe I did. Um, I believe I did do that. You can stick that right onto your ATCs. It's beautiful. Take that muslin. Yeah. Yes, tonight is Southern Vintage Company's Facebook Live. So you can watch live and buy it right there from the comfort of your recliner or wherever. Do you... Dolly, hey, yes. I just... I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. We're going to use this in projects. This is one of the things, oh, look, look at this. So what I do on a lot of books like this is I scan the pages and print them out and uh, paint on them. Like this page says ham roll-ups. I would scan this, print it out, and paint a pig on it. You know, that's the kind of weirdo I am. Um, but I, so that way I get to use it over and over and make new pieces of art out of it, you know. Um, and if I ever decided I wanted to, this would make an awesome junk journal. However, it's spiral bound, so I'd have to talk to my friend Jimmy Lou about that. Wouldn't this make a beautiful cover for a junk journal? In which case, if I took, I would take these papers out and just keep using them over and over. That's all right. Uh, trailer verdict. I don't know. Well, I don't know what that is. They sure do, Ashley. Yeah, I was saying that, that at the beginning. They ship, and they ship beautifully. Cindy Kane has ordered to Phoenix. Um, who else said they, who was on here and said they had ordered? Um, if so, you don't have to be right here in Bartlett. They have tons of stuff. I found this little book. This will probably end up being a junk journal, but I'm not going to waste any of it. I had this book when I was a kid, and um, I just thought these graphics were so sweet. I wish I still had all of mine, but they're long gone. And I will still use these pages in the journal. You've seen Jimmy Lou do that. You've seen a lot of people do that. Thank you, Karen. Thanks, Pam. Isn't it cute, Jimmy Lou? I just think these graphics are so wonderful. Look at that. Look at that red hen. She's so cute. So I couldn't I couldn't leave that there. And the prices are so good, y'all. Listen, let me show you. See this big old book? So I picked it up just because I liked the graphics and I love a dictionary because I scan the pages and I use the words in my crafting. Y'all have seen me do that. Who makes turn? Yeah, I went by their booth yesterday. I, I believe I have one of her books or somebody else that did it. It was a long time ago. Do you, Sylvia? They are a wonderful company to work with. Well, I opened this book, and I saw what I thought was the price, and I thought, that that can't be right. That's not right. So, Beverly, my sweet friend Beverly, who has a booth there, was working the counter. And she was walking around the store yesterday, and I said, I have a question for you. I said, does that really say $4.50? She looked at it, she said, yeah, it really says $4.50. I said, sold <laughs> sold because y'all now it's copyright 1979 now the ninth grade by then 
But still, these graphics, we're going to be using these. I'm going to be, um, well, I'll show you because I, <laughs> the picture for the churn. <laughs> so we'll be using um, stuff from in here in my creating. I took a couple, I take pages out, I put them right back where they belong, but I scan them so I can use them over and over. Hey, Diane, you're going to have to watch re replay because you missed the Taperology unboxing. So I printed out this page. I mean, it looks just like the book page. This is not uh, printer paper, but it's a little, little heavier than printer paper. Not as heavy as cardstock. It's my in-between paper. I do too. And oh, listen, Jimmy Lou, there were so many yesterday. I just had to, had to not. There were so many. Right now, Southern Vintage has so many children's books and all kinds of books. It was hard. It was hard. So I chose this page that has the definition of paper clip on it. Because we may use that today in honor of my sweet friend, Lisa Ahmad. <laughs> and then when I pulled this page out, I saw palette. So you know I'm going to be using that. Right? <clears throat> Book finds are awesome. Okay, and I got one more thing. They have a booth. Uh, <laughs> they have a booth. <laughs> She knows she, she knows that the lights are on and she comes over here. She'll, <laughs> she'll have to be on camera. So she said, <laughs> my little mama's so funny. Yes. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> oh, I'll send the, yeah, I'll send the paper clip to Lisa for sure. They have a booth at Southern Vintage that's for all the uh, booth owners, the vendors. Um, so if they're cleaning out their craft room or whatever, uh, they, you can box your stuff up. Like you might find a bundle of patterns or, or buttons galore. There is, uh, there's a needle, needlework section. There's a, they have it all organized so well. There are spools of old thread, you name it. And I've even put stuff in there when I used to have a booth there. You know, you bundle up the things you don't use anymore and put a little price on them. Well, there's lace and fabric and all that. Well, of course, I saw that. I'm like, do I need it? Uh-uh, I don't. But let me look and see what they've got. <laughs> and I saw this one. I believe this bag was 8 or 8.50. I showed it last night in Art Wellness Collaborative after we did our watercolor. Look at this old lace. You know we're going to be using that a lot. And so, um, I always love to check out that booth. Um, because it they have so many fun things. Look at this. Can you even stand it? Jimmy Lou, these are going to go in junk journals. They're going to go on mixed media projects, right? I do too. I know. I, I'm, I do rip it. But see, like this one will be folded over in a signature in a junk journal. How pretty is that? I just, I was so excited when I opened it up last night and actually saw how pretty these are. So I thought I better share with y'all in case, you know, you want to follow Southern Vintage and see what all they have. One of the booths, Leslie's booth is always so fun and so eclectic. Lisa, you would love it. Look how pretty that is. She found an old vending machine and she painted it. It's so fun. I, I should have taken a picture of it. You may see it on the Southern Vintage site. And she has packaged up little happies. So you put 75 cents in there. It's an old, old vending machine. And your package falls down. And it's a surprise. Happy package. And uh, so she's got little happies in there. I thought that was genius. Isn't it beautiful, Sylvia? 
I do too. That's why I could not pass this up because I saw tons of projects in this one bag. So, and there's a whole big cubby full of it. So, that's what I found at Southern Vintage yesterday. I can put this back in here for right now. And I'm going to show one more thing and then I'm going to make something. Because we got just a little bit of time. I'm not going to make something big, but we're going to play with some of this stuff. My sweet friend, Lisa Ahmad, sent me, I hope you won't mind me showing this. I showed it last night in Watercolor Wednesday. There's an Etsy shop called the Ernie Studio. And it's handmade books. And I want you to see this beautiful stitching. I, I had a squeal. You need to come down. You need to come down here. We'll spend the whole afternoon at Southern Vintage. They're open from one to six. We'll take the whole time there. <laughs> it's awesome. So she had this made for me with watercolor paper. Look how beautiful this is. And I, I've just been looking at it. It's so pretty and it's so little and all. And yesterday I decided, you know what? I tend to make things too precious to use. And I'm not doing that anymore. I'm too old for that. You got to use it. So when I was practicing for Watercolor Wednesday yesterday, I pulled out my sweet little book and I did my first painting in it. Okay, Jimmy Lou, thanks for stopping by. And I did my first little watercolor painting in my new book. So I'll be using this for a lot. I love it so much, Lisa. I'll be using this for Zentangles. We do those in AWC. I'll be... Uh, using it for Lynn Doodles. I'll be using it for Watercolor Wednesdays. All the things. And so it'll be filled with yummy goodness. And uh, Or if I need, if I want to practice something, I can just, it opens up and lays flat no matter where you open it up. So it's just as sweet as it can be and I love it. So there's that. Alright. Lisa, get excited. I pre-made some hidden paper clips to decorate. I've got four here, but I'm going to, I'm going to make one more for Lisa. <laughs> and I've got a strip right here. You need a one and a half inch strip. These are one and a half. I used uh, eight and a half by, what is it? 11 cardstock. And this is not the card. This is not real heavy cardstock. It's what I use to print this stuff on. Get my little Omni grid here. And we're going to see. We have, yeah, eight and a half and just cut into one and a half inch strips. <laughs> I did make some. I'm making you some, Lisa. I'm going to just have, I need something where when Lisa opens it up, out pops tons of hidden paper clips. <laughs> I'm going to fold this long ways. Till, till it's got half an inch at the bottom hanging over. I'll use my bone folder. <laughs> Sylvia's giggling already. I will, Lori. Here we go. We're just going to fold it over and leave that extra half inch here at the bottom. Then we're going to turn it over and we're going to fold this side up to the top. There's a million ways to make hidden paper clips. I just think this is really easy. Lisa didn't think so. <laughs> Hello, Myrtle. And then we're gonna turn it over and turn the other side up and have it meet with the top. Just do this. And so you're gonna have that little extra right there, which you, you can leave or not leave. It's totally up to you. We're gonna have a W. Lisa, it's a W, right? And then I'm going to get my big paper clip, not the massive ones, but I think they're like about two inches. Grab paper, Stephanie. Okay, so you're going to see that there's one side shorter than the other. So I just put the shorter side of the paper clip on there. Let me show you. Have it go all the way down. So there we have our paper clip, paper clip, right? And then. Get my three in one glue. It's a wonky W. That's right, Adela. It's a wonka doodle W. Just 
look away, girlfriend. Now we're just going to glue it down on each side. Like this. Press it down. And then we're going to take this little flap. And we're going to glue it down. Lisa is a teacher by trade. I'm not. And I suppose I just didn't. I'm not a good enough teacher. She got frustrated, but she did need a Snickers bar. We were live and I told her, I yelled at Ahmad to throw her a Snickers bar. She was angry that day. And then I'm just going to take a couple of my little clips. And clip while that glue holds. And then they're going to turn out like this. So that you can put it on in your journal just like that. It's already covered. <laughs> I laughed so hard I cried. But you still can see this little top. That doesn't bother me, but we're going to cover it up. Because you can do it any way you want to. So, let me cut a strip. I know this is an inch and a half wide. Let me just go on and cut a strip of um, scrap of paper. Do you, Gina? <laughs> I love I love lives like this where I get to share stuff with y'all that I have. Um, what I've got to do it this way that I've found and I really really love, um, and then get to create with it with you. I have fun with that. One and a half, Lindy, not one and three quarters. There we go. All right. So this ought to be just about right. We're going with it. How I want to do this? I'm going to start here. I didn't get this one's a little wider. I'm a terrible measurer. That's Jimmy Lou. Let me do a little bit wider strip. A good teacher and a poor student. Isn't that kind of how it goes, though? You know, like you said, uh, who was it said that? Uh, Stephanie, yeah. Doctors do not make good patients at all. Teachers don't make good students. <laughs> all right, and what I'll do, let's just cover that up at the top. Look away, Jimmy Lou. Look away. I'm just measuring. You know what? Wait, let me think. Do I care about that? I do not care about that. I'm going with it. This is the first time I've made them where they're pre-made like this and then you decorate them. So, I'm trying it out with y'all. <laughs> Jimmy Lou not looking. He's like, oh, Miss Lindy. <laughs> Your measuring kills me. I understand that. I really do. Okay. So we're just going to cover it up like that. And we're going to have that little overhang. That's okay. I'm going to kind of disguise it. And I'll just use my 3-in-1. Do I use 3-in-1 or am I going to use my art glitter? You want to make sure that you leave... Um, the sides and bottom open because you want to be able to use this paper clip. I want to be able to put these in my junk journals. Um, so if you have a stack of these pre-made and you're working on your junk journal, you can pull one of these out and then use whatever is your theme for your journal or what will go with your project at the moment for these. So much love. She knows that, Shirley. We had the best time. Listen, y'all, you know, you were there. She gave me heck. I can take it. I was laughing. Woo, she gave me heck. She was not a happy camper with me. <laughs> and it was so funny. <laughs> All right, we got that. 
we're going to glue this. There are probably 15 better ways to do this, but this is just one, and it work. It will make it work. We're folding that over, just like that. And I will make sure that's not no glue seeped out, so it'll go. You, ha Carrie, did you not see that? Re <laughs> You're gonna tell. Wear your depends, girlfriend. Wear your depends. All right, I should have done this first, but I didn't, so let's, because sometimes when you're live, it's not like when you're just sitting here all by yourself, um, creating your brain goes on, I'm not going to do this, I was going to, I was going to round the corners, I don't, it's too late, it's too late now, too late, now I want to ink this. And then we're going to use some Taper Logic goodies to decorate it. That's why I just, uh, when you pick a, a scrapbook paper to cover this, uh, use, I, I think it's easier to use something that's not directional or be very, very careful uh, with the direction of your paper. Let's see, I'll just take this and rub it along that bottom part. Be fine. Just like that. Can y'all see that? And this is so um, neutral. I can do anything on this. I could easily take one of these pretty butterflies and put it on there. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. What I'm thinking might be fun. <laughs> I know what I want to do. I like to tear these. Now, that would be another fun um, word to use in your junk journal. I happened to open the book yesterday to um, dawdle. Well, I'm so using that, uh, that word in one of my journals because people need to, to dawdle sometime, right? Paper clip. <laughs> so we're gonna. How do I want to do this? <laughs> A Lindaudel. I can dawdle. I can dawdle. Don't you even worry about it. I can do a limb dawdle. Yeah, when uh, we started Art Wellness, I, I do, um, every Friday, I do a doodle with them. And uh, just show how easy it is to do a simple doodle. And um, then you can use it, like if you're waiting in a doctor's office. Um, whatever, you know, got time to kill. And uh, so Lisa started calling it the Lynn Doodle, which I thought was so much fun. Let's. Okay, I got it. <laughs> this is going to be fun. It'll all kind of fit on there. <laughs> what does it say for paper clip? A bent piece of wire that is used to hold papers together. <laughs> Doddled and dilly dally, yes. I also piddle around. Now, for this, I'm just going to use my um, 
glue stick. Huga, yes. Huga is a good, good thing. But uh, the Friday Lynn Doodle will probably be on Saturday this week because we have our arty party tomorrow. Our monthly arty party is tomorrow. That's kind of cute, isn't it? To put on a hidden paper clip. So now, what are we going to put on the other side? We need to decorate it up. Lisa, what should I put on the other side of it? Should I do it? Um, oh, I know. I know. Come here. Could put a piece of that ribbon. But I think what I want to do is... Let's do another one of these, and we'll pack it on the back. Muggins. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that was fun. We did winter doodles and um, we've done all kinds. Let's see. We're going to put I'm just going to put a sweet daisy. A sweet daisy. No, not my, not my fabric set. This is, and you're still here, okay. Draw a paper clip on it. Got to. Um, I might even, <laughs> I might even cut out a tab, you know, like a file folder tab to put at the top and write hidden on it. <laughs> so, and you're still here. I'm going to show you how this would work on an ATC. We're going to pretend this is an ATC. Bo is feeling his Wheaties today. He's out there using his voice. He rarely barks, but he's just bossy britches today. And I put my, well, let's grab this. So just get you some, uh, some of your lightweight cardstock or printer paper and make up a bunch of these to have on hand to just decorate. So much fun. Got a few minutes, decorate a few paper clips. Oh, that's so soft and pretty. <clears throat> Snip and rip. Look how sweet that is. All right, and then we're just now, ideally, I would like to have uh, Fabri-Tac, but yet again, I tried my Walmart again yesterday, and I have a soapbox to get up on, by the way, and this is my page, so I can do it. Um, I went there yesterday, they did not have any again so here we are but i'm going to trust my three and one i'm just going to put this down here pretend that's your atc uh, and da, da, da. and so the other side of your paper clip will look like this and if we put the little uh if we put a little tab on the top so paper clip and daisy. Isn't that pretty? So it gives you another little element of texture with that fabric. You absolutely could uh, do this rub-on transfer straight onto the paper. It's bumpy 
with the paper clip in there, but um, I think you could do it. <clears throat> but I love, you know, putting a little strip of muslin or something anyway, so that's really pretty. Now let's <clears throat> give me a book. Here's my big book. So I went to, I was at Walmart and there were a couple of cosmetics that I am running out of and I thought, well, I'm here. I'm just going to go on and get them. So I went in the cosmetic section. Everything's locked up. You have to get a worker to come unlock eyeliner, mascara. I'm not. I'll pay a couple of extra pennies and go to Target where I can just grab it off. I understand why they have to do it, but I'm not going to go have them unlock eyeliner. Look at that. It's so cute. These make great bookmarks. You don't have to be a paper crafter to want to do these. I mean, if you're a book lover, these make great gifts for uh, readers in your life. And so then the other side has that decoration on. They don't even have to go together. You can put little pockets on them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach Lisa how to do a little pocket hidden envelope live together in front of y'all. <laughs> it is sad. I can't go to any Walmart around me by myself. It's too dangerous. And so Mr. T and I go together <clears throat> and I thought, well, since I'm here, I'll get it. I refuse. There are some things that just get to me. Yeah, the little envelope. We love making little envelopes. Right, Melissa. Yeah, just, you know, order what you can. More and more, I'm doing that. I really am because, in fact, I'm just, I'm going to see if I can't get my Fabri-Tac. I've got a question and I need to Google it. I see, now I see Fabri-Fix. What's the difference between Fabri-Tac and Fabri-Fix? Well, Jimmy Lou is the, uh, the glue person. Not by myself. <laughs> no, Carol. Um, that's where I was yesterday. Yeah, all the spray paints are locked up. I had not been in forever. And um, we, we went not too long ago for one specific thing. And I can't remember what it was. But like I said, I can't go by myself. When we were out yesterday... And needed a couple of things and I thought well should we should we try it I'm mad at him again I'm not doing it I'm not doing it I mean um, Betty you remember when I made these little bitty envelope bookmarks Lisa I can teach you how to do these <laughs> I used to use fray check on um, my cross stitch material um, it may be. You really don't want to use it on fabric that you might wear. Oh, yeah. I would think, yeah. I made a birthday card using five of the... Um oh, that makes me so happy. Adela, that's wonderful. I get so excited when y'all say that you did something that I showed. You know, that just makes me so happy. I mean, it makes all of us creators happy. You have to say that. Well, I can show you how to make them really, really easy, Lisa. <laughs> this is the one I made with Lisa but didn't decorate. So, I can decorate this one up. Oh, well. Anyway. It's right down the street from the Walmart. Oh, you're going to have to refresh my memory, Lisa. I, I remember us talking about that. It, Lisa, they're cheering you on. Lisa. Lisa, Lisa, you can do it. Oh, it's 5.08. I've got to go. Y'all uh, hop over to Becky's Whimsy and let's watch our sweet friend Becky. Um, I'm sure she's created. She's taken another piano apart. Have y'all seen she sells little golden books too? I got one coming from her. I do. So, anyway, <laughs> y'all anyway, have a wonderful evening. Uh, if you saw anything that you like from Taper Lodge, you can, uh, you, uh, I know you'll love what you get from them if you do order from them. Uh, I can't, I can't do it, Melissa, and it's not safe, and we, we don't go to the mall, period, anymore. 
Oh, you did have a sale at 7. Yes, Southern Vintage will be on tonight at 7 o'clock Central. I don't know who's going to be the uh, presenter. Lisa, um, Moidel and I used to do it some, too. And we loved our Thursday nights there where we got to present stuff. Thank you, Lori. Now I know. Because I thought, well, if I could use them in, you know, the same way, uh, I'd just get the Fabrifix. But even my Hobby Lobby's have been sold out. I'll order it online. I like those on. So, five minutes. Get a drink. Go to the potty and go watch Becky's Whimsy. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Um, Mr. T's cooking for you at 6 Central. And I think, I think we're going to be on the porch. So, I'll see you then. Uh, what is this? Reaction? I don't know. Got it. Okay. Love y'all. Bye.